a manufacturer produces 10% defective items. What is the probability that a sample of 4 random items picked by the client does not have a single defective? And the options here are 0 0.6561, 0 0.40, 0 0.60 or 0 0.0001. Now this is a typical example of binomial distribution. And before we talk about binomial distribution formulas and solve this problem, let's understand the properties of binomial distribution first. So when you have a binomial experiment or the binomial distribution, so in binomial by means two. So that means there has to be two options. There should be two possible outcomes, pass or fail, good or bad, yes or no. So in this particular example also we have items which are either defective or not defective. So when we pick four items, each of these items could have two outcomes. The item could be defective or item could be not defective. So this is one property of binomial distribution that each trial should have just two possible outcomes. Another property of binomial distribution is that in binomial experiment we have n repeated trials. So in this particular case we have four repeated trials. We pick four pieces and in each of these four pieces we look for success or failure, good or bad, pass or fail. So this is another property of binomial experiment that this consists of n repeated trial and in this particular example n is equal to 4. The next point here is that the probability of success is denoted by P and is same in every trial. This is important. First thing is that there is a probability of success here. So what is the probability of success? Probability of success here is 0 0.10 or 10 percent because there are 10 percent items which are defective. And now when we talk of success, don't think of success or failure as good or bad. Success could be anything which we are interested in. So in this particular case, we are interested in looking at the number of defectives. So defective is considered as success. So the probability of success in this case is P which is 0 0.10 or 10 percent. This is same in each trial. So if we pick the first item, second item, third item, fourth item, every time the probability of success will be 0 0.10. And the next item is that the trials are independent and the outcome of one trial does not affect the outcome of the other trial. So if we pick the first piece which is defective, that doesn't affect the outcome of the second trial. Second trial also or the second pick also will have the probability of success as 0 0.10. So these are the properties and we could see that these properties fit in this particular example. So we can very confidently use the binomial distribution here. The formula for binomial distribution is given here, which is Px, the probability of x and x could be anything 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4. That means the probability of having 0 defect is P0. The probability of having one defective in those four items will be P1 and P2 will be the probability of getting two defectives in those four items which you picked. That is given by this formula, which is Ncx. C is the combination and N is 4 here because we are looking at the 4 items. X is something which we are interested in. Now our interest is in finding out the probability that we don't have a single defective. That means we are looking at the probability of getting 0 defectives. So X in this particular case will be 0. N in this case will be 4. P in this particular case will be 0 0.10 which is the probability of getting defective items. And that's all we need. So if we put all these values, we can find out the probability. So here I have put all these values in the formula. So this gives me 4C0, 0, 0 0.10 to the power 0 and 1 minus P and N minus X. So in this formula, there are three components, 4C0 and 0.1 to the power 0 and 0.9 to the power 4. Now let's solve these three parts using this simple calculator which is Ti30xA. This is a simple plane calculator. So this is acceptable in most of the exams where you cannot take a programmable calculator. So now let's use this to find out these three values. The first value is 4C0. So how do we find out 4C0? So for that you need to find out 
NCR button here. NCR button here is in the green at the top of number 8. So if you look at this calculator above the number 8, there is NCR. This is what we will be using to find out 4C0. So for that, what we do is we press 4. So let's press 4 and then press this button by pressing green one. So if I press green and then 8, this will use the formula NCR and then I press 0. So 4C0 is equal to 1. So this is the first item. So instead of 4C0, let's say if you are finding, let's say 7C3 in some other example. So what you could do is you can press on 7 and then this green button, then NCR and 7C3, let's say, is equal to 35. So this is how you find out NCR. The second part is 0.1 to the power 0, which is 1. But if you don't know, you can still use this calculator to find out 0.1 and then y to the power x and then 0. So this will give you 0.1 to the power 0 is equal to 1. So we have three components. Out of these two components are equal to 1. And the third component is 0.9 to the power 4. So for that, I press 0 0.9 and then y to the power x and then I press 4. This gives me 0 0.6561, which is the answer here. Now, this is something which we did using a manual calculator. Same thing we could do using some software also. So here I have put a snapshot of the calculation using Minitab. So here it gives me the probability of getting zero defective, which is around 0 0.65. And then the probability of getting one defective is slightly less than 0 0.65. 30 maybe 0.29 or something and then probability of two defective and probability of getting three defective and probability of getting four defective is very very low so with this the correct answer to this question is choice number a which is 0 0.6561